Welcome back to Brisk Bites. We are at the last tile in our feedback tools section on the Brisk Bites tools page. Uh, you can always find us at bit.ly slash try brisk tools. That's where we launch every episode of Brisk Bites from, and we are on the last one. If you are wearing a hat, you need to either take it off or hang on to it. Uh, this is one of the most uh, ingenious and unique and beautiful things that Brisk has to offer. And I can't say enough wonderful things about it. As an educator, it's part of what made me gravitate toward Brisk. Uh, enough gushing, Tiffany. Um, this is the Feedback Insights tool. And it's hidden and you might not really know about it because it's not its own thing in the summon brisk uh, menu. So we're gonna see where it's hiding. And so come here, we're gonna get in really, really, really close because this is tiny. It's hiding here. It's not one of its own menu options, but it does live in the brisk box. It looks like a little square with some digital charts and such inside. Click it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Feedback Insights tool. It's going to remind you that it needs a good amount of data to pull from, so it won't be there for you just yet if you haven't reviewed enough assignments with your students. I believe that number is five. But once you've done some assignments with your students, this is going to take um, an average of your last 10 assignments and sort of use an AI algorithm to put together areas of strength that your students are demonstrating and areas of growth that your students could be focusing on. This is the ultimate teacher guidance. This lets you know as a teacher, hey, this is where they're struggling and where we may need some reteaching or some touching back or some small group instruction. Also take a look up top. You get a sense of how long your students are spending on these assignments and how long it's taking to receive feedback. Now these numbers are a little wonky because I've just been making tutorials um, and no students were involved in this actual process. But look at the drop down menus. Do you remember when we did feedback on Gatsby? I asked for feedback on social justice and it's pulling from the feedback that's been generating from AI. As always, go in with your own lens, come in with a critical eye, make sure you're thinking about things like biases that can be native in, to, um, in your AI, but this is wild. Okay, just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page about that. This is one of the most powerful, unique, and innovative tools in the edu AI space right now. It is unique to Brisk, and I really hope you will lean into this tool once you start generating feedback with your students. Teachers, this is your moneymaker right here. And look, could it be easier? Uh, brisk, oh no, this is an area of growth for my students, what do I do? Well, Brisk will make you a lesson plan, a quick quiz, or a resource right there. It doesn't get better than that, friends. Okay, we'll see you back here for another Brisk Bite. Go and play with that one and see if you can top that with any other tool. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again for another Brisk Bite.